Hello and thanks again for joining me for another Kenshi Tips and Tricks video. Uh, today I'm going to show you in the hub, which is a pretty standard start location for a lot of people. Um, usually in the bar here, in a new game, you're usually going to find Molly here you can talk to and recruit and you can find Logan as well now if you don't like Molly I'm going to show you how you can get different drifters and or you could if you wanted to just hire a whole bunch a whole army of Logans now the thing about Logan so if I go and uh, let's just go and hire Logan here, and he'll cost six thousand. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm gonna change his name to Logan zero one. Don't need to do that, but if you're gonna hire a whole bunch of them, it just helps you be able to uh, to tell them apart and uh, keep them organised. So if we hire Logan, now the thing about Logan is if we look at his stats is he comes with 39 crossbow and turrets already right off the bat, which uh, is pretty, makes him pretty powerful with a crossbow or on the turrets. So what we can do, if we give him a crossbow, Get him set up and give him a little side weapon as well. And uh, I've set up a couple of turrets out here or a couple of mounted crossbows. You can just get him to work on that. And uh, we'll just pop him in there. All right, now, uh, Molly over here so if you don't like molly uh you can uh okay if you don't like any of the uh drifters that you have hired i will hire her just to uh just to demonstrate okay so we'll hire her and if you don't like any of the uh, any of the people that you have hired, you can actually get rid of them. And uh, but what I'll, I'll quickly just uh, you know you may as well take this stuff before you do. So the way to get rid of them, so you've got this dismiss down here. It looks like a button, but you try clicking it, it does nothing. What you do, you just drag him. Down to dismiss. Now I'm not going to get the 6k back, so it's better that if you don't want to, then just don't hire her in the first place. Now, what I'm going to show you will work whether you hire her and dismiss her or whether you don't hire her. Um, now, in this instance here, I'm also missing a bartender. So, what I'll show you is going to bring back the bartender as well. So, what we're going to do is so I have dismissed her, so we've got our Logan and our main character here. So we're going to save our game, and I'm just going to call this Logan's, make a, a fresh save. And then what we're going to do is we are going to exit out of the game completely and then boot it back up again. Okay, and once you've booted it back up again, uh, we're not going to go into load game, we're going to go to import game. Now, these ticks along the side, generally you're going to want to leave them as they are. Um, so that's going to keep everything that you've achieved. Well, 
except for this one. If you have killed any of the major bosses and you want them to stay dead, then untick that one. Doesn't matter whether you tick that or don't tick it uh, for this to work. It'll work whether you do or not. So, um, but if you do have it ticked, that will bring back any of the any of the bosses that you've killed. So we're just going to choose our save that we just did, and we're just going to import that, and that is going to refresh the whole world. It'll bring back the bartender. If the bartender's not missing, it will reset the bartender's stock and his cash. And uh, that applies for all shopkeepers. So all these uh, characters are respawning in. And uh, some of them are outside. Here comes a Logan. So we can uh, wait for him to stop moving. We can go and talk to this Logan. And we can hire this one. And we'll call this one Logan number two. And we can talk to the barman. Let's uh, get him a crossbow. Get him some bolts. And we can set him up. On another one of these turrets. And so now we have two Logans. Now, if we have a look in here, instead of Molly, we have a different drifter here. So same thing again. You can hire them, dismiss them, or just not hire them at all. But uh, we're going to save our game again. And I'm just going to overwrite the other save that I did. Going to exit out completely again. And reboot up the game. And we're just going to repeat that process. Now, it's 100% every single time you'll get another Logan. It's not always 100% that you'll get another drifter. Sometimes you won't get any. Uh, sometimes you might get two drifters in town. Um, sometimes they might be walking around outside. But uh, you can get all sorts of different drifters. I've had Shek. I've had uh, Skeletons. Um, basically... It does appear to be relatively random, and sometimes they're walking around. Let's have a look. Look at Spike here. He's not one of them. Uh, there we go. So you get the little, uh, the little speech bubble. Yeah, generally. They're going to come into the pub. But uh, let's hire this Logan here. So another 6,000. We're going to call him Logan03. Confirm. And I guess we can uh, get him a crossbow as well. It's assuming you've got cash to do so. Put him up into the 
into the Logans. Maybe we'll set him up on the uh, the research bench. Okay, yeah, see this guy, Gardner, is coming into the pub, sit in there, and he's actually uh, approached me, 3,000, so you get 3,000, you get some that are 4,000, uh, there's one or two that uh, that are free, I've had one called Hobbs. Um, who is free, doesn't cost anything. You have one other thing that you can do in here. So if you go into sneak mode and you want to find this bar thug. Now you don't have to have any sneak skill. I do have a fair bit of stealth and a bit of assassination, but you don't need any of those skills. Just get behind them in sneak. Go stealth KO, and what will happen, well, typically you don't knock them out. Um, typically that will start a fight, but all the guards in here will actually come and, and fight the bar thug, and then they'll pick them up and dump them outside. And so what you can do, come outside, wait till they've dumped them outside. Well, they've just got up, so. Let's try that again. Let's see the the bar staff will beat them up, and actually we've got uh, I think we've got our Logans up here actually shooting them with the turrets. Maybe, maybe not. Well, yep. Well, they're down. And while they're unconscious, we can loot some pretty decent gear off them if you wanted to equip your recruits. Well, that doesn't do anything, but, you know, some boots, an Adachi, pretty decent dust coat. So, you know, you can either use that to, uh, to equip whoever you recruit or you could sell it you could just sell it straight to the to the barman so let's uh, save our game again and actually sometimes if you have a look around Sometimes you may get more than one drifter hanging around town that you will be able to to hire. Not always. But it is worth having a look around. But typically when you start a game, you've just got Molly and that's it. It does appear that that's the only one this time. So, okay, we will save again and repeat the process. So exit out and reboot up the game. Okay, so I've just hired our Logan number four. Now these guys are actually shooting at the, uh, the bar thug. So, uh, if you do want that to stop, then uh, you need to take out the bar thug completely. They're over here. But uh, they do regenerate the gear, so you could repeat that process over and over again. Uh, but if we have a look around here now, we've got another drifter here. This one... 
is a hiver. And oh, by the way, if you're wondering about that bounty, it's because I started this character as a holy sword, um, which comes with the bounty. So that's got nothing to do with anything that I'm doing here. Uh, we've also got knife. So we've got two different drifters here. If you wanted to hire them, I'm not going to worry about that. So we can uh, just keep going along, saving, repeating the process. And so I'm going to do this a few times and I'll just hire up a few Logans. And uh, when we get, uh, if we get some different drifters like some Shek or some uh, some skeletons, then I'll come back in. But I won't make you sit there and watch me hire hire thirty logans. So I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, so this one here is going to be logan number eight. And we can see we've got a shack drifter coming in here. So just to show you that there, there is a variety. Um, but we'll get uh, Logan number eight set up. Now, one other thing that I should mention as well is that uh, if you do take out this this bar thug, he will be aggroed straight away, and he's going to respawn unless he's well, she actually is usually a female. Um, they usually respawn where they were, and if they make it back into the bar when you're in there. And you start actually fighting them. So before we, we did the stealth KO, we didn't actually fight them. They attacked us. But now that character is actually aggroed towards us. So one thing that you can do to, uh, to get around that is to simply pick them up. And so, generally, when you uh, when you re-import your game, your character that's that's picked them up should actually still be uh, still be holding them. So we get this one on the training dummy. Pop them in the squad. So. I would just continue the process. Uh, let's just have a quick look around. So sometimes if you look around, there might be a second drifter. So, so far we've had Greenlanders, Scorchlanders and Shek. And... We've also had hivers. Don't see any others, so we'll just keep saving, saving our game and re-importing it. And uh, so I'll just continue along, and I'll come back if we get anything else interesting. So I'll see you in just a moment. Okay, so we have hired. 12 Logans so far, but uh, here, here we have a skeleton, so if you wanted, if you wanted to hire skeletons, you know, I've had some that are 3,000 and some that are 6, so we could hire this guy, 
Uh, let's have a look at his stats. The ones that are 3,000 are normally all 0 or 1 stats. But, uh, you know, this is one way that you could get skeleton recruits is just by re-importing. And we've actually got a... Oh, no, that's just a mercenary captain. And sometimes... Occasionally you'll see a holy citizen running around and they'll be yelling out something about skeletons. And that'll be, give you a clue that there's one around the city somewhere. But uh, there you go. So you can get skeletons here. Um, so, okay. What I'll do is I will load up one I prepared earlier. So now, if you are not using any mods, then your maximum amount, your maximum amount of people that you can have is 30. You can get mods that can increase that, but uh, on vanilla, you've got 30. So uh, we've got 10, 10 Logans, 20 Logans, another nine Logans and uh, then we've got our starting character. So say you wanted all 30 Logans, well this is how you do it. You just simply get rid of your starting character. Now we're back down to 29 and we can just grab one of these other Logans, bring him into the pub, and we have another, oh, that's the bar thug is back there again. Okay, we have another drifter there. We have Logan here. So we can go and fire this Logan. And this will be Logan 30. Yeah, might be an idea to take the gear off of your starting character before you switch them out. But uh, anyway, there we go. We have a crew of... 30 Logans. So we have, uh, let's see, 10 in that one, 10 in that one, 10 in that one, 30 Logans, each one with, uh, sorry, wrong one, each one with those turrets and crossbow skills. And, uh, you know, no one is going to get past all those crossbows. So there you go. That is how, if you don't like Molly, you can get uh, different recruits. Or you could just hire yourself a whole army of Logans. So that is going to do it for this episode. If you did enjoy this video, then uh, please leave me a like or a comment down below. If you'd like to see more, please hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions, please comment down below. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.